guys. This is just acting. Okay? This is just acting. This is goodbye. And I thought it would be fit to end it all in, in the same setting from which I began this crazy chapter of my social media content. And there's a reason why I'm saying goodbye to you all exclusively. Because you're my favorite audience out of any of my channels. I only want a select group of people to be cursed with the invitation to find me and subsequently find themselves. This cryptic rhetoric in conjunction with my ensuing sophisticated lexicon constitutes the initial phase of a winnowing methodology fashioned to dissuade those I deem unfit to participate in this puzzle. At this video's cessation, as the audience retention gradually dwindles, the intention is for only a highly discerned subset to endure. Anyway, in 2020, as my fitness career began to decline after a YouTube conspiracy theory depicted me as a deceitful anabolic drug user, I desperately sought alternative career paths and a novel life direction. So I participated in a ritualistic psychedelic ceremony that induced a hyper-creative state of manic grandiosity, prompting me to garner inspiration from the YouTuber McJuggernuggets and devise a psychotic blueprint with my Los Angeles agent Archie Archambo, designed to propel us to Hollywood stardom. If you watch the entirety of this channel's penultimate piece of content, the autobiographical documentary Escaping the Cult of Bodybuilding, the full story of Connor Murphy's insanity, you're familiar with a tiny percentage of this full story. Now, as egotistical as my original YouTube persona was, I'm humble enough to admit that the attempt to transition my content from a unidimensional, superficial ostentation to an ambiguous creative expression laced with esoteric meaning was an oversight indicating such a profound ignorance of my audience demographic that it now serves as the predominant source of certainty that I was, indeed, in psychosis. The more I've analyzed my audience demographic of my main channel, the more I realize that I garnered an audience primarily through visual, carnal stimulation. The ability to understand English isn't even necessary to be captivated by my original videos which is why only 16% of my main channel's viewership is from the United States. This channel's demographic is slightly better with 25% of you watching this video from the United States, but this channel's audience is still comprised of too large of a subsection of my original audience to adequately facilitate the algorithmic success of the content I wish to post. Let's be honest, most people subscribe to this channel to be passively updated with what they perceive to be a tragic downfall of a popular fitness influencer, uninterested in the actual substance this channel has to offer. And this is unfortunate because the audience that needs this type of content the most is the one that resonates with it the least. And if this in any way sounds patronizing, appearing to depict my original audience as superficial meatheads lacking any type of intellectual depth, this is partially intentional. It serves as another filter to deter those who are easily offended and value the self-preservation of their own ego over the open-minded pursuit of deep personal development from finishing this video. Because those who are closed-minded or easily offended should absolutely not participate in this quest to find me. If you're one of those people, goodbye. But as much as I should lean into this condescending filtering technique, I can't help but be overwhelmed with gratitude for my original audience, who were an integral part of the incredible journey I've been on. As much as I point out the limitations of superficial pursuits and egoic attachments, I fuck three fucking girls a day! Three girls a day! There's nothing inherently wrong with them. Each one of us has been blessed with a unique, valuable life adventure. There are pros and cons that accompany every type of experience whether you're conscious of them or not. And to objectively paint superficiality as inferior would be to overlook the intimate interconnectedness of all things. Personal development, self-actualization, and spirituality would be devoid of any context and meaning without the antithetical superficial pursuits and egoic attachments that allow for the enriching odyssey of personal growth in the first place. And reaching a distant enough node on this expedition will almost certainly be met with such despondency and possibly even terror that remembering the simplicity of basing your life around women, success, and money will elicit an alluring nostalgia that makes you seriously contemplate who's living life the right way. But if you're brave enough and possess enough faith in the 
mysterious machinations of the universe to risk slipping into psychosis, then the link to the sixth video of my 13-part series Dear Connor Murphy is at the very bottom of the description, hopefully concealed beneath enough lines of text in order to deter anyone who didn't watch this video till the end from stumbling upon it. It's my unfiltered message to Derek from More Plates More Days, who either ruined or enriched my life depending on the lens through which you view the story. This is my final video on this channel, so if you're not sufficiently enticed to join me on my new channel, I guess this is goodbye.